Today I'm going to show you how to make a moon in Cinema 4D. So the first thing we're going to do is come up here to our shapes tool. We're going to click down and go to sphere. So I want to make the sphere just a little bit bigger. So we're going to click over here to the scale tool and we're just going to pull up and drag, make it a little bit bigger, move down a little bit. All right, so the next thing is to make the texture look like the moon. So we're going to come down here and we're going to double click in our create space. And this is going to bring up our materials tool. So we're going to double click right here on our material. And I have previously downloaded a moon background image. So I'm going to come here to texture and click on this arrow and then load image. So this is going to bring me to my documents and downloads. Right now I have it on my desktop and I'm going to scroll down until I find the image that I downloaded. So I'm going to just click on that and click open and yes. Okay, so I'm happy with the way this looks, so I'm going to click out and then I'm going to click on our material and drag it to our sphere. Alright, so now we have this sphere right here that looks like the moon. And I want to add some stars to this guy, make it a little bit more lifelike. So we're going to double click back here in our materials, double click on that. And then I also downloaded from Google an image of the night sky. So we're going to scroll down and click on that and open. Yes. And then we can get out of that. All right, now I'm going to come up to our landscapes and click sky. So now we have a sky in the background and I'm going to drag our material so that the arrow is facing down under the sky. We don't want it to be sideways. It needs to be facing, the arrow needs to be facing straight down and drop that right there. All right, last we we're gonna add a little bit of light to this. So we're gonna click down on our light tool and I'm gonna go target light. From here, we can move this around wherever we'd like, however we want the shadowing to be. I'm going to leave it right there, and I'm just going to come down to a nice view, and then I'm going to go up here to render, and render to picture viewer. Alright, so that's going to show us what it would look like if we rendered our moon. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions and what else you'd like to see. Thank you.